Hi, this is Bev. I wanted to share some tips with you to help you get started using the Technique Tuesday die lines with your Silhouette Studio software. If you go to our website and then click on the Shop button over along the side, and then on Die Lines, you'll see all the die lines that are available. And for this video, I'm going to just pick the Party Lights die lines and be focusing on those. But you could pick any of the uh, die lines that you wanted here and use similar steps to get going using die lines and Silhouette Studio software. When you make your die line purchase, you'll have received a link to the die line files, and you should have already downloaded the die line files and have uncompressed that file. If you need help with those steps, you can go to our Frequently Asked Questions page about the die lines and see written instructions or watch a video covering those steps. Once you have the die lines saved on your computer and uncompressed, you'll need to adjust a couple settings in your Silhouette Studio software. So when you open the Silhouette Studio software, um, you're going to want to go to the File menu. And in the File menu, you're going to want to go to Preferences. Then you're going to want to go to the Default setting. And in this area, you'll see that there's an area that says When Importing DXF, and there's a box with a check mark in front of it that says Scale to Fit Page. So what happens is with this setting this way, anytime you open a DXF file, it will change the size of those die lines to fit whatever um, size cutting mat is open. And you don't really want to do that if you're using die lines that match stamp sets or that are sized to be a particular size. So you're going to just uncheck that box and say OK. Now this doesn't really change how your Silhouette Studio software works. It just changes whether it automatically resizes the die lines when it opens a file. Now once you've done that and clicked OK, you're ready to start working with the die lines that you purchased on the Technique Tuesday website. So the next step is to open the die lines file. So you go to File, Open, and then you need to navigate to wherever you saved your die lines. And in my case, it's under My Documents, and then I go to a directory called Die Lines, and it's got two different sets of die lines from Technique Tuesday there. And I'm going to go ahead and continue using the Party Lights die lines. When you open your die lines from Technique Tuesday, you'll see that there are three different folders there. And those folders are different file types set up to deal with, uh, set up for different cutting machines. So if you have a Silhouette Studio cutting machine, I recommend that you use the DXF file. And when you click on that DXF directory, at first it looks like there's only another directory called Extras in the DXF directory. And again, I don't know why the Silhouette Studio software folks wrote it this way, but you need to go down to this Files of Type area and click on DXF. And when you click on that, it shows you that there is in fact a DXF file in the DXF directory. Then you're going to want to click on that file and say OK to open the DXF die lines in your Silhouette Studio software. Now another little weird thing that happens is, for whatever reason, the Silhouette Studio folks have it come up off the screen. So you just click on it and drag the die lines to move it back onto your cutting mat and then you can start working with the die lines themselves. Now you may have noticed when I moved the die lines that they are all moving as a group. And you may not want to cut them all out. So if you only want to cut out some of them, you need to ungroup those die lines. And the way that you do that is you go to Object and choose Ungroup. Now each of those die lines are separate. So you can drag off the ones that you want to use. So I might want to use that light and this phrase and maybe this light. And I might want to delete some of them because I'm not going to use it on this project. Or you might want to cut them a different color and just drag them off to the side. So you can do whatever you want here in terms of picking which die lines you want to cut and positioning them and then going ahead and cutting them out like you normally would. Once you've got them all cut out and you want to get out of your Silhouette Studio software, you notice that it wants to save the die lines as a studio file. And that's fine, you can save it as a studio file. Just make sure that if you've deleted any of the die lines, you know where that zip file is so that you can go back and get the die lines out of that zip file. Or you can go back to our website and log on and you'll see that there's a history of all the die lines you've purchased and you can go ahead and re-download them again. Now before I wrap up this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about some more ideas where you can get information about your new die lines. 
If you're looking for inspiration, you can go back to our website and click on the dye lines that you purchased. And in addition to all the purchase information, there are pictures of projects that include cards, tags, sometimes home decor, often layouts, that kind of information is there. And if you click on any of the pictures, you'll see a bigger picture, and then oftentimes if there's any special techniques or anything, we'll include that information here too. So if you're looking for inspiration, go back to our website, it's a good place to go. If you find that your die cutting machine isn't cutting the lines as cleanly as you would like, you're going to want to reread your user manual that came with your die cutting machine or get in touch with their customer support folks. It could be as simple as adjusting the blade settings or replacing your cutting mat, but your die cutting mach machine manufacturer is the best place to go to figure out how to make your machine work efficiently and effectively. I also wanted to show you that there are some additional things that came with your die cut files that you got from Technique Tuesday. Um, if you look at that directory that has your die lines in it, you'll find that there is some instructions. And if you open the instructions, it's got a lot of the information that I covered in this video. So if you're one of those people that likes having it written down, it talks about how to keep it from resizing. It talks about that there's a, it's going to cut a small border around the edge. But then it also talks about some of the extras that are in that extras directory. And I'm going to talk about that extras directory in a different video, so you can either read it there or you can go and listen to the other video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it helps you get started using Technique Tuesday die lines with the Silhouette Studio software. If you'd like to see more project ideas, please join one or all of our online communities. We share project ideas every day on our Facebook blog and Pinterest boards. We're also on Twitter and Instagram. And when you go to our website, you may also want to sign up for our email newsletter. In addition to project ideas, our newsletters feature tips and techniques for using our products, new product announcements, and exclusive online promotions. Thanks for watching.